Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm your host, Carlos Fade. It's episode 16, and we're going to leave Oleg's again. We have our kingdom. We couldn't find Jubilas last time. I tried to do a little research, and somebody said that what you have to do is wait until troll trouble starts. And then you can find him at that close at that location, in addition to Ekendeo as well. So I think that's probably the deal. We got the 26th. So we might as well head down here. Back to our kingdom home. Actually, hold on. We can start collecting these things. These add to our empires. Fruits and berries. Source of resources for the barony. You may stumble upon resource area in your travels. To reap the benefits, you need to claim the responding region. Return to the resource collection. Claim it for 15 BP. We have zero in the treasury. So accept it, and then I think it puts us in the negative, actually. Uh, let's see what it does with that. And now we have a barony event. Put the thing up there. We evaded our enemies. Yay. See if we can grab this one too. Claim available for claiming, and we have 32 BP in the treasury because some days have have passed. I'm gonna turn that off. Claim it. It puts a little. Okay, so that one didn't get claimed. It puts a little stake there, which is nice. Okay, so let's go here. Well, I'm sure it would, but. Let's get down there, right there. Okay. Let's rest y'all here. Hunting is required for rest. How's everybody doing? Octavia. My Octavia. You said we'd get out and live. And you were right. We got out. And we're living. <laughs> You're living, alright. You're fighting for me. It's the best thing you can do. So, let's cruise down here. Get this one. Shrikia's claim. Get plus one loyalty. Bald Hilltop. Alright, let's go in here. Let's go do some kingdom management stuff. Throwing them. Here's the really weird thing about this. This throws me for a loop every single time. The throne room is over here. The main square is here. And the tavern is here. But when you're on the actual world map, the main square is here. The throne room is up here. And the tavern is over to the right. I wish they would have made this geographically the same. Because <laughs> it catches me off guard every single time. But at any rate. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here. I'm always saving because you just got to be able to go back. <laughs> there are times if you make a mistake, you got to be able to go back. I, I totally advise having three or four saves in your system. I like to keep about three that I call kingdom management one, two, and three in my save file. And every time I'm about to do kingdom management stuff, I like to make one of those saves. That way, if I have to go back two or three steps, which can be as much as a month, then I can do that. New merchants have arrived in the capital. Traders have set up their stalls and are waiting. So that's the economy. Let's see what our stats are. We have loyalty is up past 20. Stability, culture, espionage growing slowly. All right. She has one more day on that. We have the curse. Harim, he's building the temple. We're hoping that he's got 54 days. So, <laughs> um, Let's skip a day then so we can finish her thing up. Okay, what did she come up with? Us? Three merchants from Absalom arrived in the region. They're ready to do business with the barony if the conditions are met. Failure, unfortunately, negotiation between the region and the merchants led to nothing. So it's an opportunity, so it's not a big deal. And now we have proposal for cooperation. Yeah, that was the thing that failed. Okay, well. And what we could do, I want to I wanna do something here. What's our calendar look like? One more day. 
We want to wait till the first of the month because some stuff usually happens right about then. I don't think there's anything we can really do until the troll trouble starts, so. Here we go. First of the month, what do we have? New stuff. Support the council's endeavors. That's all we have. Nothing happened. Anybody here? Okay. Well, nobody's here. Hmm. All right. That's the case. Let's boogie boogie. I'll have to level all those folk up at some point in time. But usually not till I actually need them. So Bald Hilltop, what's the journal say about that? Talk to Bach and you can usually find him. Ogle Oleg's trailing post, we know about that. We need to build a workshop for him. Okay. Let's see, the court alchemist. Next development, 17 days and one hour. Okay. Do we need to go there right now? That's part of the confusing part. Find KSC in the capital. Meet the nymph in our verdant chambers. We're not going to do until we have high enough mage levels to cast invisibility on ourselves. So we're not going to go over in that direction. I think maybe we'll just go to Bald Hilltop. Can we go deal with this right now? Let's find out. There's nothing here, I don't think. But we'll check. The other thing is we need to build a, a province. Let's see. Before we even do anything, then. Together we are one shouldn't brag about a big sword if they can't carry one. <laughs> oh, really? Is that your is that your expert opinion there? Okay. I need to get my spells set up here sometime. He's got to start going in front. Because with mirror image, she becomes a lot harder to hit. <clears throat> Anything here? Bald hilltop. I don't think there's anything to do here. Yeah, there's nothing going on. It won't be for 17 days. Alright. Uh, we'll wait the 17 days then. We won't wait. We're not going to sit around twiddling our thumbs. I think what we might be able to do is go trigger some events just by traveling. Me, I've got all this stuff. Okay, coup de gras can go off. What is this? Hampering injury, disorienting injury, build wielding injury, enlarged person. These things I usually don't change around much. I like to have my spells like this. I hardly ever go in a fight defensively. I like to have self buffs ready. Then this thing, offensive spells over here. This is a buff. This is a rarely used thing, but we're going to leave it there. Emba. Take that off. Charge, I very rarely use. Okay. Yeah, so you have a choice of what kind of resistance you want to have active all the time. Um, go for fire there. It's very nice to be a very nice being a mage. It's even nice being a fighter mage, and it's wonderful being an elder tonight because it is a rippingly awesome class. Okay, now we sh can we build? Can we build? Let's go in our kingdom management. We should be able to start building a town, I think. Oh, no, we can't. We can't build up here. We don't have the North Nara Marchers yet. But we can build something up here. So this is... Hmm, where do we want to do here? Usually I just build something up around here so we can get to Oleg's really fast if we have to. Because where I'm going to want to build over here... See, the North Nara Marchers are pretty big. 
It's nice to be able to build in here, but it's also really nice to be able to build up here. Like right in here, because then it puts you right next door to the to that dungeon. So, hmm. Let's put you some care right there. Trade guard. Mm. I'm going to change the name of that. I always call it Oleg's Rest. Oh, we can't build it. That's why we have insufficient funds. Okay, hold on. What's it take to build BP? Let's see. 8,000 to build that. What about for 50 of them? Okay. Let's start building our first place. There we go. Now you can come in here. And we don't have any BP, but... We'll get some soon. Yeah, we got two BP. Let's wait and build something there in a little bit. When we build some more up. Okay. As soon as we get some... Some key things here. Some key events. Then we can upgrade our... Our person. Okay, what do we have down here? More strength. Three pine inlet. No, let's keep going. I want to go around to the next place. Ruined watchtower. Okay, let's rest here. Traveling bards ever live happily ever after? Or did you hope to earn your glory singing songs in taverns? <laughs> you don't appreciate your happiness. You've been surrounded by books, paintings, poets, and singers since you were a child. In our village, the only entertainments we had were tavern fights and harvest dance parties. I'd have died of boredom if I stayed there. <laughs> I hear you, sister. I hear you. All right, let's keep going in this direction. Someone on the road. Who do we have here? Blood for Gorum. Blood for Gorum. Oh, look, and we have... No, so now we're going to get a start troll trouble. We have a branded troll, which is bad. Okay, Amiri, don't do anything. Me. Mm. Let's see. What do I have? I have an enlarged person. Okay. I'm going to put this on for my group. Lindsay. Inspire courage for three turns. These guys are absolutely going to get smoked. To find out real quick that fire doesn't work like they hoped it would. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot of buffage here, buddy. Start with this one. We're gonna stay right here until they come over. Oh, it's gonna attack a troll over there. Okay, darling. Mutagen. If they get one of these things down, though, we got to go over here and, and help kill it because it's got the brand on it. it. It'll only take corrosive damage. will kill it. Fire won't do it. So, You, my friend. Hmm. What do we want you to do? Got you summon Ratnik over here. Do this. Protection from evil. I'm tempted to have you run over here and help, but you're gonna you're gonna get crunched. So let's do this. Let's leave you right there for now. For me, let's do. 
Can I shield myself? What's my AC right now? 19. Can I get it off with this armor on? Yes. Okay, that helps. Lindsay. Boy, I need you to start creeping up here, darling. Okay, now. Can you put those on the ground? Nope. Reflex save 19. Okay. You got to get all the way buffed up, dude, because your AC right now is way too low. I'm going to try to move him a little bit closer. He can move a little bit every turn. This guy's taking a pounding, but he ain't going to last very long. How far away can you do that? Do that. Okay, get them on all those guys. Oh, people dying. We do not want that to happen to us, and that person completely died. That is sad for them. Mm. Bandits are dying. Okay. Harim. Put your butt up here. What is this guy? He's got some damage. That one's got... Okay. Hmm. Cast this on yourself then, because you may have to swing at something. Or don't. Full strength. No actions left this turn to use this ability. Okay. Hmm. This is the thing. I gotta get right up in here in his grill, because... Okay. Lindsay. Can you make him fall down? That would be the next thing that I would... Oh, you can bless. Okay, let's bless. It's always tough when you don't have time exactly to prepare. Alright, so what do you got on? You don't have shield on yet. Okay. Get out a little bit in front of everybody. You're just going to be a little bit behind. Try to put this on him. Is he going to get over here and do what? Ooh. Oh, they're coming for us. And those guys, which is good. And he fell down. Okay. Time for you to hit, sister. Nice sneak attack. Harim. Wait a minute. Can you bone shaker anybody? Where is this guy? He's right there. You want to bone shaker him? Okay, not much. I'm going to get a full attack from this. And he's dead dead. Okay. Lindsay, can you make this guy fall down? Does it translate? Do your jokes translate? Do, but you missed by one. It's not going to work on him. He's not down for the count yet anyways. So you have a chance here. Can I do it? He doesn't have his mutagen on yet. Okay, but he knocked him over. So you... You get over there and hit him. Try it. Gosh, Johnny. If you throw fire on this one, he'll die. It's the branded one we gotta worry about. Can you get over here on this guy? You can. Can you charge him? Get over here, because you may have to heal. Very soon. Put yourself in defensive mode just in case. That's good. Alright, in order to get this guy, can I get him with that? One. Oh, he's not dead though. Oh, duh. <laughs> he's on the ground, but he's not dead. He fell down. That's a waste. Okay. Move over here so that you can hit this guy and take this off. 
Lindsay, make everybody more competent, please. The guy keeps bombing him, but it's useless. Okay. You. Can you hit him? Okay. Oh, that one's dead. Okay, she hit. She critically hit it for 44. Oh, wow. That's us. How close is it to being dead? It's not there yet. Can you get over there and hit this guy? You're out of range because you used a reach weapon, so. That's nice. So he falls down. Harim. What is this guy? He's on the ground and he's not dead yet. Do you have fire? Okay, he's dead. Good job, Harim. Tried to cause fear in that thing. Misa. Okay, so this thing's on the ground. And it's dead. So now if we do this... There we go. That's why you like to have an Eldritch Knight in your group. Okay. Lindsay. You want to try this guy? You missed it by one last time. There you go. Sweetness. All right. These trees are in the way. That's nice. Can't quite get up there on him, so you might as well move to here. So you can be right in between these guys. Amiri. It's like, I got you. I want you to stand right over here next to this thing. He tries to shoot one of us, you pound him. Okay, I'm going to get over here, and I'm also going to stand next to this guy. Because... In a minute, we're going to have to attack him. Lindsay! Don't do anything. He's got one of these, so he can go like this. That's done. That's nice. Okay, Valor, let's take out the bandit necromancer. Nice hit, darling. Well, that is a party. That was awesome. Everybody appropriately doing their jobs. Liked it. Okay. So that should start the old uh, troll trouble. You guys are fantastic. Good job. Good job, team. I do love it. When this team comes together, they're very effective. It's very nice. All right, keep rolling. Overgrown pool. We're going to skip it. Come back to it later. We're four days away. Ford across the Skunk River. Let's see if he's here now. He may not be, in which case... We may have to. I've heard that you have to wait for Keston to come to you and say, "There's trouble." Yeah, so I think we're in fact on the wrong side of the river for this to happen. And you want to save the game, anyways, because when you finally do meet this bozo in the river, yeah, he's not here yet. It's fine. When you finally do meet Jubilost, you got to make some rolls, so. You definitely want to try to save his wagon. Get him on your good side. Need him as a treasurer. As the treasurer, he's... He's the only good option. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back here and see what we have, and maybe we'll rank up our person... Although we're, it'll probably put us... We probably can't rank up now because it'll be 14 days and that'll put us over the bald top hill thing. This is where you're juggling timelines, right? 
There he goes. Your grace, I fear there's been another matter that requires your attention. There have been some reports, many of them from settlements across the Nara Marches. There are trolls in the forest, seemingly hordes of them. Rumors claim they're more than the typical savage beasts. They almost seem to show reason and tactics. They form groups, attack all at once, plunder the villages, and carry away the peasants. Even stranger kobolds have been spotted among their ranks, when usually they would be attacked on sight. I'm not certain any of this is reliable. Fear builds mountains of molehills. Some of the rumors even say these trolls carry torches and burn down houses, seemingly unafraid of open flames. It's entirely possible the rest of the reports could be exaggerated as well. The common folk will hardly heed any simple exhortation. Someone will need to go to the Gnarl Marches to investigate the matter. I was considering the matter when it hit me. What if you were to take on the investigation yourself, Your Grace? Lawful, yes. A baron's duty to his people. I'll head south and look into the situation. All right. Please remember that only trolls can be killed with fire or acid, but the branded ones can only be killed with acid. So. Trolls who didn't fear fire? That sounded terrible and dangerous and terribly dangerous. If we couldn't rein them in, our young barony would be eaten up in a snap. And so thus we have it to the first of the issues. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Let's make a save. And the save is done. Harim. All right. Troll invasion. Keston arrived at the castle to report strange swarming trolls across the Nara Marches. And whether well, they Tenebris. So here we go. Tenebris now is available to us. A reoccurring dream. One of the weakest storytelling elements ever invented, right next to prophecy. <laughs> But we'll, we'll leave that for another time. Like, okay, I'm going to go off on a mini rant here. A recurrent dream has recently been troubling the Baron's slumbers. I, I hate this. As a story and tell telling mechanic, I just hate it. I hate it as much as I hate prophecy, which, in my opinion, the only time it's ever been done well was if Frank Herbert used it in Dune, and that was only because it was a fake prophecy. The Bene Gesserit seeded the galaxy with prophecies as a way to protect their own people should they ever find themselves on a planet somewhere in a hostile situation they could use the knowledge of this prophecy that they had seeded that they had planted the seeds for they could use that information to sway the locals as a way to say well look here i know about this prophecy and here are the signs and all this stuff you know it's it was a it was a device for safety, really. So it wasn't a true prophecy. I find these devices really lazy storytelling. This to me would have been so much cooler if you get someone showing up in your throne room saying, you can't believe what I saw, you know, and maybe you can't. But to, to convey the information in a more natural adventuring way. You own a kingdom. Why couldn't somebody come to you and say, You've, you cannot believe this dungeon that I ran from. I almost died. The rest of my party got wiped out. Blah, 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 blah. And instead we have a recurrent dream. Okay. He sees valiant heroes entering ancient ruins to descend under the ground, never to return. Their faces show stern resolve. Their lips pinched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just can't do that. So we want to go there. No, it's definitely something we want to do. So rank up is 14 days to solve and troll trouble of course we have to go do that but where is our an ancient curse 14 days and four hours oh that would probably be bad to try to crack to try to crunch that upgrade in although you know what here's what we'll do this is why we have saves so what we'll do is make can save and see if it actually causes us a negative all right, saves have been made. Let's see if we can do this. If this gives us enough time to actually move out. So rank up, support the counselor's endeavors. We have to upgrade Tristian loyalty. Start project. Huge eight-legged beasts continue to multiply. So we took a negative. We took minus one to each of these. 
and we took minus one again and minus one again and minus one again and minus one again and six times so we'll reload the safe and this is why i strongly recommend just doing that just saving before you do anything like that um because because otherwise you're going to get yourself in trouble So, Storyteller, we'll deal with him later. Uh, what do we have for gear? We have some stuff here. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of stuff there. Okay, before we wander off then. Let's go to the main town square. Yeah, so it's unfortunate because it says 14 days. But yet this negative thing is going to happen the whole time. It's like, mm, can we do something about that? It's it's this portion of the game that gives people trouble. And of course, it's the it's the part that gets dinged the most in the reviews is the way these kingdom management works and the and the difficulty rules and all that stuff. It's just it just could have been better in every way could have been better. And it should have been better. All right, let's sell this by price in descending order. Let's sell that. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this. Somebody might have a use for these two things. I haven't figured out who or why. What is this? It's a short spear. Nobody's going to use that. It's a masterwork longsword. Nobody's going to use that. Hanging on to a couple of bows, we kind of and and thankfully somebody in the comments who said this. I gotta give credit to this person. So this is Jacob Jones. Jacob, thank you for the comment on the video, video number two in the series. And he said to sell all your junk, hit the offer button. Okay. Jacob is fantastic for passing that along because I have 360 hours in this game and I did not know that. But number two, who on God's green earth would have thought that hitting offer would sell the junk stuff? <laughs> what, what piece of logic suggests that this means sell your junk? Oh, God, that's so nice. Thank you, Jacob. You're wonderful. I mean, how, how would you, how, what other way would you come up with that? It's insane. <laughs> What do I have over here? I don't have a kukri. Does he have one? Let's go type in alphabetical order. Masterwork. No. Tongi. Short sword. No. He doesn't. So. Off we go. Where's our, where's our exit? Oh yeah. And then there's Arisino. And Ennio, the traveling merchant. Let's go talk to Ennio, the traveling merchant. He's the guy who showed up. We got the notification. Ennio, the traveling merchant. A tanned half-elf merchant gives you a polite bow. His thick chestnut hair shows a slight touch of gray at his temples. A sure sign that he's in his seventh decade. Mature, but not old age for a half-elf. I'm happy to welcome you, Your Grace. I'm Ennio, wanderer, trader, and curiosities. I've come to your lands recently and hope to stay here for a while until the road calls me again. Well, what do you have? Is a masterwork elven curved blade and a keen elven curved blade. Very nice. And a shock longbow. Boots of elven kind. Scroll of dispel and a magic fang. Nice. Bunch of, bunch of nice little items there. Okay. And that is... It's everything you have? Okay. Nice to meet you, Ennio. What about Arasno? A woman in rich gold embroidered clothes greets you with a polite bow. Her eyes, the color of molten gold, shine brightly in her dusky face. Greetings, noble ruler of these lands. My name is Arsino. I'm a messenger from the Temple of Abadar in Absalom. And I came here assuming the citizens of your young barony could use the services of a priest. You're Asimar, if I'm not mistaken. I suppose it's easy to tell, isn't it? Yes, I'm Asimar. Though I'm not sure how or when the blood of Celestials appeared in my family. Among all my relatives and known ancestors, I'm the only one who inherited it 
I must admit, I'm glad this lot fell to me. It draws more attention to me. A useful trait for a priest who wishes to gather a congregation. I could use the help of a cleric. It's precisely why I'm here. Excellent. So she's got a bunch of stuff. Scrolls of save my butt. Diamonds and diamond dust, which will become important later. Of course. Great. Okay. And we'll go see the, the firebrand later. The kineticist and her dark sister. Your grace. What are you going to do? Find troll trouble. Alright, so can we go get Jubilas now? That'd be good. So what I don't know is all those negatives that we took appeared to happen as time was passing. 14 days passed and we took negatives six times, which tells me that we were taking a negative about every two days. So if that's just what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen. There's not much you can do about it. Yeah, so forward across the Skunk River. Again, our hero has the same dream. Go to the Tenebus Jets, we will. All right, so forward across Skunk River. Let's see if now we can manage it. Get ready for anything. Get to Baltop. So here we go. We have to get to Baltop now. Okay, that makes sense. We could have even gone back and saved it. So let's do this. If Jubilost is here, this would be great to take care of. And if not, it, oh yeah, here we go. Hey, you there. It's a gnome. Okay. We probably should have buffed, but these are tiny, tiny little guys. Um, Jubilost. Renown Explorer. Get that off my thing here. I'm going to delay long enough for... Who's getting hit here? Gnome God. Oh no. Jubilast, I suggest you nuke them. Actually, this might be easy enough to just do like this. Let's go. Uh oh. I have you doing that, but you shouldn't. Go do that one. These are all just cobalt, so... Oh, I just stabbed the heck out of him. Quick, you've got to help us. What's going on? It's our buddy, isn't it? Oh, no, there's more of them? Yeah, here he is. So, the gnome invites some of his friends. Stupid, slow, sluggish gnome. Gnome. Stupid. There's a purple cobalt on the riverbank. Looks just like your old acquaintance, Tartuccio. Cobalts want the scot. Cobalts shall have it. The horse skull hides most of the cobalt's face, but you see his vicious eyes glinting through the empty sockets, staring at you. By orders of myself, the glorious King Tartuc. Cobalt pounds his chest with his fist. Tartuc, king. The head of the gnome expedition wipes his brow and glares at the cobalt. This bastard was the one talking our ears off while the rest of them were trying to steal our cart. King Tartuk. The gnome looks at you and winks. What do you say to a bit of regicide? <laughs> yeah. I've killed you once and I'll be happy to do it again, Tartuk. How dare you speak like that to the king? Kobolds, attack! <laughs> Here they come. Well, okay, but... Who will prevail? Well, in this case, I'm going to have you do that. Go, go, boys and girls. We okay, we won't be doing that. We gotta get some defenses going. Well, so, so that was not good. <laughs> That's the problem with him. If you don't put his defenses up, he gets smoked. Okay, put this on yourself. This on yourself. That on yourself. I'm gonna try to fire this off again. Oh, I can't. Okay. Well then, everybody, 
Let's go. We'll do this again. Let's be a little different this time around. We'll do turn-based mode for the second part of this fight. done yet come on let's be done okay there we go quick you've got to help us yeah we know now so let's blow through this help the beleaguered travelers attack these guys are a little bit tougher than they were taking down my boy all right turn base mode Let's have you do nothing until she gets to go. Come out here. Trees. Okay, this is better. Valerie. Who would you like to smack down, Valerie? They're all cobalt sentinels. You can reach that one. So smack it. Oh, that's so nice. You are devastating. You, darling. Oh my gosh, you're so far behind everybody. Oh, that's what I talk about with her having little tiny feet. <gasps> Missed. Jubilast. He's got that. He's not thrown his bombs yet. Mirror image. Saving the day. That's nice. I can't wait till her and Valerie get two attacks. Get up here. Make this happen with the archers. Oh, you're going to pummel them to death. You take this guy out. I'll cut you. Oh my gosh. Okay, use one of those for next time, will you? Harim, you're right up close on it. Don't go defensive. Just smack the hell out of it. Oh, well, that's not smacking the hell out of anything. Tartuccio, you will die. I need to get up there. I've got a lot of dexterity and a lot of attacks of opportunity. Take this thing out, will you? Oh. Good. Not entirely done. What, where are you at? You're right there? Okay, what can you do? Hmm. Not quite enough. Why don't you take that guy down? Boink. Okay, perfect. Because then I can get away. I'm going to get hit one time, aren't I? Okay. Let's do this. And kill him. That's good. And then I'm going to kill that guy. Because I'm awesome. Jubilast. Amirdi. Which one is the worst threat here? This one. Yep, they do. Good job, darling. Get up here. Right behind these guys. We can do a lot of damage. Get up here. You can maybe get in range to do damage. Oh, that's always so wonderful. Yes, give him the attack of opportunity. Lindsay, my darling. See if you can make another one of these fall. Which one? That one? Okay. Make him fall over. Tell him a funny joke. Your mother's ugly. Alright, now you can smack that one. Oh, that's just wonderful. I don't think we're going to have to worry about this guy. Yeah, there we go. Tartuccio's going to run away like the coward he is. Say you're soon enough. This is not over. Yeah, it is. It's going to be over. You're going to die again, and it'll be just as satisfactory killing you a second time. All right. We're going to save this so we can go help the cart. If we had some rope, that would be nice. I don't know that we do. Can we find some rope on these guys? I don't think so. Any dead bodies up here? Run up there, Lindsay, and then come back. 
Yeah. You use this. Oh yeah, you did. Use, use, use. Okay. Well now, Lindsay competency. Do it. All right, let's see if we can make this work. While the gnomes were busy fighting the kobolds, furiously cursing and diligently punching their unwelcome guests right in their dragonish snouts, the cart was all but forgotten. The unwitting cause of the fight, it was being dragged away by these scared ponies when it slid down the ford, sinking all the way up to the coachman's seat in the river. This was where the skunk river flows into the tusk water, and the current becomes excessively spiteful, cold, stubborn, and turbulent. Having taken hold of the gnome's cart, the Skunk River must have decided to drag it down amid all the commotion, but it was caught in the act. The surviving gnomes, led by the head of the gnome expedition, an extremely loud and crabby fellow, but not without some managerial talent, were able to catch the cart before it floated away. Faces red and grunting from the strain, they struggled to keep it from drowning entirely. Just then, a package fell into the water, and with a heartbreaking splash, it vanished beneath the current only to resurface ten meters down the river. No! The head of the gnome expedition moaned as he lowered at the package, glowered at the package. That was alchemy in life, the latest issue. After plunging into the cold river, the ponies immediately lost their nerve. Swiveling their ears and twitching, they tried to chew through the reins and throw off the load. Why are you just standing around? Go on, help them. The head of the gnome expedition was visibly dissatisfied as he shouted. One of us tried to jump onto the cart to untie the ponies, or gathering all our strength, we began to pull. We might be able to do that since we have the mutagens. Ready? Oh, my foot. The head of the gnome expedition yelled, his face red and angry. With help like this, my possessions will be down the river in a flash. Just go to the camp or find those runaway ponies. Or find some other way to help. Gods. Tried to pull the cart out. After resisting our efforts for a while, the cart finally began to give. Squelching loudly in the mud, it jerked forward, and as the head of the gnome expedition opened his mouth, he let out a victory cry. But that sly snake of a river decided that if she couldn't have her trophy, no one would. Instead of riding out on the ford, the cart began to lean, then slowly, almost magnificently, fell on its side. The scream of triumph only made it halfway before the sticking in the gnome's throat. Son of a troll! The perplexed gnome gazed at us. His collection of boxes, packages, and bags slowly floated away. And that gazing came to rest on us. Well then, thank you travelers for your oh-so-invaluable help. Oh, well that's not nearly good enough. Save the cart from the river failed. We're not going to let that pass. So we'll try the other option. We'll try something else. Actually, let's grab everything first again. That was not nearly acceptable. I thought maybe with all that strength of ours, we'd be able to do this, but I guess not. So, let's try it again. Anything is possible. Maybe. All right, choose a character. Mobility, lore, nature. Choose a character with mobility. That would be me. I got a 15 and a lore, nature, too. That gives me a 17. She has a total of 18. Hmm. This could be bad. Oh, I succeeded. Jarex nimbly climbed onto the roof of the cart and carefully crawled toward the ponies hitched up at the river. Succeeded at a lower nature check? How? <laughs> I rolled an 18. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the gnomes are busy fighting the kobolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now can we pull the cart from there? Oh, we tried to pull out. Can we find something helpful nearby? Is there a way to do that? I think we can do this if we try to pull the cart out. We get options. Yes. Okay, the cart creaked and cracked. So you have to calm the ponies first. That's the key. Okay, so lore nature, that would suck. Athletics, 20. Oh, that would be bad. Or, oh, my God. Okay. Hmm. That doesn't seem like a good choice there. I'd have to roll an 18 again. 
gosh. Well, charisma would be the best choice. Let's try it. We're gonna fail. Okay. How many more times can we do this? Well, we're gonna find out. Amazingly, it only took three tries, and I finally succeeded at this charisma check. I rolled a 19. Uh, I kept getting the first two rolls. They worked. Every single time, they worked. I did cast heroism one of them some too, so... After everyone struggled together for a while, the cart finally made it out of the muddy riverbed and rolled back onto the rocky ground of the waiting ford, prompting some seemingly indignant sloshes and squelches as the river released its trophy and rushed along in search of easier prey. Losing no time, the head of the gnome expedition jumped inside for a good while, rattling and swearing were all that could be heard from the cart until the gnome's face finally reappeared from under the rooftop, seemingly satisfied. Almost everything's still in place, he announced, cheerfully jumping from the cart. It's all wet and crumpled, but at least nothing's missing. Thank you, travelers, if not for your help, guided by my keen supervision, of course. I'd have to say goodbye to all my possessions. So, we saved him. Yes, now we're going to talk to him. Okay. i got to take a short little break here. And I am back, and we can talk to Jubilost. Where is he? The little blighter. Okay, there he is. Well then. Jubilos Narthropel. The gnome that stands before you wears dirty and ragged clothes. They used to look stylish and wealthy long ago, but those times are long gone. His black hair is matted. A deep, fresh scratch crosses his cheek. Despite of this rather pathetic look, the gnome behaves with inner dignity and even manages to maintain a superior manner. Jubilos Narthropel, at your grace's service... Your help with these kobolds and my almost drowned cart was timely indeed. By the way, it's a shame no one organized a greeting party when such a famous and popular person as myself arrived to your capital. I wasn't expecting a red carpet covered with rose petals, but you could at least have sent ahead some delegation. Well, at least some of my servants are still alive. Do you know how much it costs to train a proper servant? <laughs> Jubilast jabbers too fast, never stopping even to take a breath. You can see he's piled up some emotions and just needs to get them out of his system. Also, while I'm on that, I'd like to make an official announcement. The roads in your barony are in terrible condition. People must search for wading fords to cross the rivers because no one had bothered themselves with building bridges and honest travelers had to take the risk of being attacked by kobolds at any moment. So, how did you say your barony was called? Ah, whatever, never mind. When I draw the map of these lands, I will call them Maybe Local Baron Will Help. I guess it's a fitting name. I could just throw you back in the river. The gnome fell silent at last. He just watches you with his shifty eyes opening and closing his mouth as if he wants to say something more, but hasn't come up with anything yet. You think too highly of yourself, Sir Gnome. Behave with some dignity while you're on these lands. Oh, thank you, Valerie. Oh, I see. The very spirit of knighthood embodied. So, what do you propose me to do, Sir Knight? Should I lie? <laughs> By no means. But you shall not be so blunt. I bid you to express your opinion in a more courteous form. Your problem, Sir Knight, is that you worry too much about form and appearance. Unsurprisingly so, considering your pretty face. As for me, I worry solely about the content. Valerie blushes even more and turns away. It seems to you that the gnome has stepped on her toes. Hmm, I see. Well, you said you were famous, but I don't know you. What are you famous for? That was either a stupid and offensive joke or a case of total ignorance. The latter, I hope. I'm famous as a traveler, a cartographer, an alchemist, and a journalist. The students of all the major universities study the world using my maps. My articles for different journals are well known everywhere from Andorran to Brevoy. You've definitely read some issues of National Alchemy, haven't you? Culinary Almanac of the Inner Sea? Or the most scandalous one, the Independence, describing benefits and drawbacks of governments and regimes in different states? Didn't read any of these. Oh, well, don't answer that. I don't want to spoil my impression of your barony. It's spoiled enough already. It would be hard for me to write at least something positive otherwise. Wait, the Jubilas Narthropel? Author of the 14 and a half eulogies to Pitex? Oh my, 
every student in the Academy of Grand Arts devoured your books, especially after King Arabetti banned them, tried you in absentia, and sentenced you to death. Hmm, hmm, I see at least someone in this shabby barony has at least a rudimentary education, even if they got them in such a dubious establishment as the Pitak's Academy of Grand Arts. <laughs> I was expelled for irreverence. Ah, is this so? Well, if it is true, then you just might not be beyond hope. <laughs> so what happened here? How'd your car end up in the river? My party and I set up camp at the bank of this river. We just finished kindling the fire when that purple bastard appeared. You know what he told me? He introduced himself as the king of the kobolds and told me he needed our clothes because he wanted to dress his subjects properly, you see, as long as they've established the kingdom of their own. That's literally what he said. I wonder where did he learn the words? Obviously, I told him to buzz off. Some kobold wants to strut around wearing the clothes of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartropple. Oh, no way. So I've been explaining my position to him, being rather eloquent too, suggesting he and his so-called kingdom might as well fall into the deepest sinkhole. But in the meantime, I've noticed that kobolds have already started to untie my cart. Well, I called my men to keep the cart safe. They couldn't guess what to do on their own, just stood there with their mouths ajar. Then things heated up as the fighting started, and while we were fighting, the ponies dragged the cart to the river. Ah, stupid animal. Hmm. So what is such a famous person doing that far from civilization? I pursued two objectives. The first is to write an article on this new barony of yours for the independence. The second is to draw a detailed map of the stolen lands. Before this barony appeared, it had been too dangerous to come here. But now an opportunity has appeared. Thanks to you, I must add. So, as you can see, the freedom of speech sometimes grants positive comments too. Anyway, I'm almost done with this journey. My article is practically ready, so is the map. All that's left to do now is to find an old dwarven outpost established here several centuries ago. What is this dwarven outpost you're searching for? Your ignorance is stunning. You create a barony and still you know nothing about the lands you own. I'll have to enlighten you on the subject. Well, I did sort of just get here. You see, long ago there was a dwarven trade route crossing these lands. It connected Five Kings Mountains and the north. The route was so important to the dwarves that they were generous enough to set a number of outposts along it, manned with armed guardians to provide protection for the traders. One of these outposts must be somewhere nearby, lost and completely forsaken, but nothing can avoid the watchful eye of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartruffle. I will find this outpost, and I will mark its location on the map. You can trust me on that. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Is this old dwarven outpost abandoned? Is it possible it's now used by trolls as a lair, for instance? Why not? Dwarves like being underground, trolls like being underground too. It's quite possible after dwarves left, their warm and cozy place fell into the hands of less attractive creatures. Well, I'm looking for the trolls' lair. Maybe we're looking for the same place. Let's join our efforts and start looking together. Well, you proved to be a capable companion in a case of emergency. I guess I can entrust you with covering my back. Let's go. I will send someone for my cart later. So Jubilast is here. And now I have to figure out who to leave behind. Which is sad because Jubilast would be the perfect seventh member. So part of it comes down to, do you want to take Lindsay and make the trolls fall over and get permanent bonuses? So get, when she uses her spells, or do you want to have his ability to hit things with bombs and make them go kaput? Um, we'll figure that out on the next episode for now. The important thing is to keep going, because we have to get over to Bald Hilltop. And since that will take some time, that's what we will do. We have to get over there right away so we can stop taking negatives... So we don't take any negatives, hopefully. And there we are. So let's go this way and say, go to Bald Hilltop. Wait a minute, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why would you go that way? You can go this way. Travel two hours. 
Travel two hours. There you go. Bald Hilltop. Let's enter this and take care of this as the last thing that we'll do in this episode. Because the trick here. Hmm. It's almost like we should rest, but I don't want to take a day to rest. So. Wait a minute. Hold on. You've got this wand, don't you? Yes. Wand. Wand her. We won't have our strength is, this, is the problem. We won't have our mutagens, but... Keep that. We might need it. Let's see. Do that. You can do that from the inventory screen. Okay, you're up. You're up to speed. So no mutagens for anybody, but you can get these things back on. Yep, grab that and this and can you nope you can't okay let's go then folks this is it end of the episode we gotta go up here and play with bad creators bad creatures bad creators there we go it's spiders spiders well then let's wait until Lindsay gets to go same thing with you, bud. Ragonga. I want you to wait, too. I want your bonuses. Bonuses. They're going to come right on over here. All right, darling. Bonus is coming. Lindsay. Oh, you don't have any more songs? Oh, that's a shame. Dang it. Okay. In that case. Hmm. Make me hit. Alright. That's too bad. I'm gonna get two attacks here though. Like that. That's how we'd like to do it. Go after him. You go after him. You're gonna decide which one to attack here. Try that one. Yes, you will. Oh, well, get a second one on there, brother. Turn to somebody else and whack them. Smack them down. Nice. I like that plan. Can you hit this thing? You gotta scooch a little bit. Okay, now we get... The last one comes through. The giant spider, what do we have here? We still have a doorway over here. Okay. More of them are coming through. What are you going to do there, bud? What can you do? Let's do this. They're, oh, they're neutral, though, aren't they? They're neutral, so you can't... That won't... Then they're not even chaotic, so it doesn't matter. Um, hmm. Strengthen yourself, I guess. You're going to have to start swinging. Coming hard after me, are you? Okay. Do this and give a bit to Amiri. More. More, more, more. Oh, yes. I love that. Hit that thing. Go for it and hit that one. There you go. Amiri. We can scoot right up in here and swing at that one. Okay. And you missed. Alright, roll it, buddy. There you go. Make him repent. Oh, we finally got tagged. Okay. That helps. Two attacks here. Finishes that one off. Ragongar. Oh, you missed that second one. She didn't miss that one, though. Let's put you right here. 
What do we have? We have the thing here. Silky. Okay. Bring it. That one goes down. I want you up here on this thing. Oh, but it's not going to work, is it? Dang it. How do you... Hmm, Harim, can you bone shaker this chick? Silky. Okay, you did. Oh, somebody save him. Lindsay, help. We're Gongar. He's being held, but I, I still want you to do that. Okay, two attacks here. Get rid of that thing. Almost. Amiri, can you sneak right on up there and get her? Okay, if you roll a four, that's no good, though. <gasps> that's not good, either. Smack this thing. Uh, ain't dead yet. Oh, it's trying to attack me. Okay. Lindsay. Keep trying to save him. There you go. Me. Okay, that thing's done. Good. Ragangar, you're stuck for a turn. You can't get up here. Smack this person around. There we go. Oh, she's held. Okay. You, since you're down here, do this. That helps. She's just going to keep holding people? She is. Lindsay? I doubt you can daze her, so you might as well just shoot. I'm going to have to run up there and get next to her. I'm going to stand right there, though. Okay, Ragongar, you still can't go. She's held. She's held. Tell me what your... Yeah, this is what I want you to do. Is get close enough here to heal everybody. Oingo, oingo. Okay. Oh, she held me too. You deserved it. Okay. How long am I held for? Wow, six rounds. Okay. Well, Harim... I guess if you gotta go up here and do it, do it. Hold person, hideous laughter. I don't suppose you can daze her. Nope. Just shoot. Bummer. Can I can I strike her? Oh, I can. Oh, I gotta hit her though. How long's your hold going on? Two more rounds. Okay, and you survived. I want you to cast True Strike because I want you to be able to hit her. Is she evil? She's chaotic good. Oh. Cast True Strike. Alright. I'm down. Be good if all you guys could stop being held. There we go. Oh, do we not have anybody? Harim! Do massive damage, buddy. Okay, that's not massive. <laughs> Hideous laughter. Ragongar. Can I get up? Okay, but I'm up. God, I'm just not hitting. Can you get over here? Get up here. We're Gongar. Can you get up? Can you move? Oh my. Round 12. And I'm going to be laughed at again. Bummer. Okay. Do this. 
get around this person. Can you get over here? There you go. Do this. Don't do that. And just swing this time. Okay, there you go. That's nice. Can you get up here? Get up here. Good. Get close. Harim, do something. Make her pay. She's gonna, what, hideous laughter somebody? Okay. Any last wishes? Can I get up? Nope. Ragongar, smack her twice, buddy. Use this as a bonus. Okay, now you do this. Smacker. Let us strike as one. <sighs> what did she roll? Valerie attacks with a miss. She rolled a ten and missed. Wow. Okay. Heading. Oh, we're just missing. And now he goes down. This is where I step in. We're going gar. Oh, and she's done. There we go. That's what we we're looking for. Okay. Everybody else is hideously laughing. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Patience. Heal them all, will you? <laughs> Patience. Patience because they're just sitting on the ground laughing. All right. What's she got on her? She's got a cloak and a ring. Okay. We'll save those for Julius and Northropel then. That's it. That's the end of that. That's the end of the ball top. So we didn't take a single negative for our kingdom because we rolled back to the previous save. And ball top is done. Episodes going about. Yeah, they're going about 75 minutes every time. That's just what it is. So bald hilltop. One of the many trips we will make there. They will get progressively harder and harder to deal with. But, but it's very nice to have that out of the way. So now we can focus on the trolls for a while. Alright. Everybody. That's where I'm going to leave this episode. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you're digging it. I'm certainly enjoying playing it. It's it's just one of those games that's a lot more enjoyable to play once you've been through it. And you know mostly where all the pitfalls now. And there obviously there's a lot of details that I forget, like the fact that you can't get Jubilust until until Keston tells you that there's troll trouble. Those kinds of things. But that's the way my brain works. I've always said this. I have a very, very um small amount of of RAM. So I have to reach I have a very small hard drive. I have great RAM. I have a very small hard drive. So uh, I can't keep everything in my head. I'm constantly having to take things out and push new things in there. Uh, but this works. So it's yeah, it's just one of those games that after you've played it a few times and you learn where all the pitfalls are and you learn which parts are hard to deal with and you learn how to arrange your save game files and how to get the advisors in the positions that you want it becomes a little bit easier. So I'm excited to keep playing through the rest of this. I'm just, I'm enjoying it. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave your questions in the comments below. Consider supporting my Patreon. It's in the description below. And until next time, happy gaming, everyone.